Hello, everyone. This is your five minute life hack for the week. Um, I appreciate the patience as we figure out the technology on the back end. I know it's been a few weeks. So anyway, without further ado, we will jump right in. Uh, this week, we are be go going to be talking about marshmallows. So, and specifically the marshmallow challenge. Let's see if we can get that right. There we go. All right, so uh, many of you have probably heard of this, but this is the uh, marshmallow experiment was, that was done years and years ago. What researchers did is they brought kids into a room, they set them at a table like this, and they put a marshmallow in front of them on the table. And then they told these young kids, these were like young, young kids, three, four years old, said, okay, if you can, you can have this marshmallow if you want, or, I'm gonna leave the room and if you wait till I come back, I will give you two. So it was kind of a test of uh, delayed gratification. And so they have videos of this and some of the kids, as soon as the researcher left the room, jumped up and grabbed the marshmallow and shoved it in their face. Uh, some of the kids like danced around and walked around trying not to look at the marshmallow so they wouldn't be tempted. And then they eventually ate it. And some kids were able to go the whole time and and waited, which was 15 minutes. So that's a long time for a young kid. So the researchers came back in 15 minutes later and gave those kids the second marshmallow and uh, and they were able to get two instead of one because they were able to delay their gratification. Now they followed these kids for the next 40 years to see what the benefits were of this, at this stage, this, you know, uh, this skill of delaying gratification. And overall, the kids who were able to wait for the second marshmallow received higher scores on their SATs and their test scores. They usually had better health. They were better socially adapted. They had lower substance abuse issues. All of those, I think we would all agree, are probably very positive outcomes from they attribute it back to this idea of delayed gratification. Now, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. This is uh, my family. Um, and this is no, uh, nothing to do with me, but more a testament to my, to my kids. Uh, we have something in our house called the sugar challenge. And so on the left there, that's my oldest trade and he's now 19, but at the time he was 12 or 13 and he came to us and said, dad, what if we do the sugar challenge at our house? If I went a whole year with no sugar, would you give me $50? We later upgraded it to to a hundred dollars, uh, and so the rules were basically no sweets, no candies, no treats. They could have a little bit of syrup on their pancakes once in a while, so it wasn't purely no sugar, but it was pretty close, especially for kids that age. So he started going, and he was about four months along, having no sweets, no candy, no treats, and we were shocked at how many times he had to turn it down a day. Uh, for these kids, they get it at uh, school, they get options at friend's house, every soccer game. Uh, they were turning it down three or four times a day, every day. Um, and so once he got to about the four month mark, uh, a couple of my other kids, Tage and Ellie joined in the fun and they said, we want to do it too. Can we get a hundred dollars if we do the sugar challenge? And so long story short, they ended up doing it multiple years and they get a hundred dollars each time. So sometimes they'll do it for a year. They will get a hundred dollars. They'll go off for a week, have some treats, have some brownies, ice cream, whatever. Then they'll go back on it and do it for another year. So I told my kids, I love the health benefits of this. I love that you get a dollar or a hundred dollars for us as parents. That's a really good ROI. We save so much money on sweets and treats and candies. A uh, hundred dollars is a great investment for us, but more important than anything is what the marshmallow challenge found. If these kids can do something like this at the age of 10, 12, 13, 14, that builds such a reserve of strength and that they can do anything in their life. So that's our challenge for the week is find something that is hard to delay your gratification on and do something hard and start building that muscle. We can all build it. I'm still building it now at, uh, my, at my age of 43. But anyway, I love this story. I Love what it teaches and i love uh i love what it does for my kids my family so anyway 
I hope that was interesting. Uh, appreciate everybody listening, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.